Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome to another video for Limor Weber Designs. Today I will be creating the second page of my mixed media journal and uh, this is a journal that I'm making and I plan to create uh, each page using flowers so I am uh, going to separate one of them and this is where I will be working with. So first of all I am going to use my gel medium, this is by Prima and uh, a piece of uh, tissue paper, the tissue paper is by Ranger and I am going to apply some gel medium and stick uh, one on top of the other. This is an easy and quick way to create an interesting background. I am making sure that I have stuck down all the edges nicely and once this is dry I am going to use my scissors and cut out all the excess. So now that uh, everything is dry, I'm going to use my gesso to make a gesso wash all over my page. I am also spraying with water my page just to make my gesso thinner and uh, the idea is uh, not to cover up the background but uh, rather push it more at the background. To color my page I will be using gelatos and not only for creating my background but also for the focal points and the shadows and I will show you how I do it. So first of all I am using this blue uh, gelato. I am applying directly on my page and smudge it everything with my finger. Now as always you can find a full list of all the supplies that I am using today uh, along with the names of uh, the gelato colors just below the video in the details area or on my blog. Now I am going to use a um, orange gelato and uh, if you know your color theory then you know that um, orange and blue make uh, brown however I'm not afraid to do that because uh, this uh, will not turn into mud just because gelatos are really really a uh, great medium to work with they are nice and vibrant and you can build up the color as much as you like so as you can see I'm applying a little bit of orange here and there and uh, I am uh, going back again and again until I'm happy with the outcome if you find that you cannot uh, move gelatos as easy as I do, don't forget to dip your finger into water. This will help uh, gelatos to move easily. Now as you can see I'm going back again and again with the blue and the orange and uh, now that I'm happy with the outcome I am going to do some splashes. I'm using white gesso and uh, a small brush. I like my splashes to be nice and uh, tiny and that's why I'm using a small brush. If you use a bigger uh, brush then you get a bigger splash. So I am going to make sure that everything is nice and dry and you can see here a close-up look of uh, my background. I really love the vibrant colors. And now it's time to stamp the focal point. So I am going with uh, a flower stamp, this is by Penny Black and I am going to stamp uh, directly on my background using archival ink. Remember that uh, since I have used gelatos on my background, uh, if I spray or if I add another uh, medium on top, uh, the color might move. So I make sure that I stamp with uh, archival ink and you will see how I'm going to work and do my shadows later on. So now I'm going to stamp again the flowers on a white cardstock and that's because I want my flowers to be nice, white and vibrant. These uh, are going to make a nice contrast against the blue and orange uh, background. So I'm going to use my scissors to cut out all three flowers. I'm switching to a tinier uh, scissor there. And uh, once I have uh, all the flowers cut out, I'm going to use my gelatos to color and uh, shade my flowers. So first of all, I'm going to use a slightly darker uh, color of gelato than my background. And I'm going to go around the shape of the flowers. So now I'm going to smudge it with my finger and this is going to create a nice shadow all around. I usually do this technique with my big brush markers but here is how you can do the same technique using gelatos. However you need to remember that gelatos are not permanent to water. So I am going to add a little bit of shadow to the stems as well. So I follow the lines with my uh, gelato and then smudge it with my finger. And now I'm happy with my shadows, so I can move on and work on the flowers. I have also washed my hands just to make sure that I don't add any bluish color on my flowers. So I am uh, using this uh, yellow gelato and I'm just applying a little bit and smudge it with my fingers only at uh, the base of the petals. Notice how I leave the tips of the petals white and I don't move the yellow color uh, far further uh, away from uh, the center of uh, the petal. So I am going to do the exact same technique with orange but this time I am going to stay only at the bottom of uh, each petal. 
So now that all my flowers are ready, I am going to use my gel medium and stick everything down. Today's project is quick and easy, but I really, really love the outcome. I love all those vibrant colors and the contrasting uh, flowers on top. Now, uh, you can call this page finished, but uh, you know me, I really love uh, finishing touches. So after sticking everything down, I am going to add a few details here and there to make my page even uh, prettier and uh, bring it to life. I am going to use my white uh, gel pen and I'm going to add a few dots on uh, the stems. And I am going to zoom in for you so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Adding those white dots really uh, brightens the page and brings everything together with the background. And now I am going to do some uh, embossing. So I am using my Versa marking along with uh, this uh, rugged edge stamp by Limor Weber Designs. This is a must have stamp for all uh, uh, art journals and uh, mixed media projects because it really adds a nice texture on every project and it's uh, really, really versatile. And I am going to apply an embossing powder that is uh, off-white. Uh, I think uh, the one that I'm using is uh, actually more uh, yellowish or cream uh, colored. And uh, you will find a link just below in the details area. As I am going to tap off the excess, you will see that the design is really pretty and kind of uh, reminds me of a lace. And as you can see, I have created only two corners, the opposite ones, and that uh, kind of uh, frames my artwork today. I am using my heat gun to make sure that I have uh, set uh, all the embossing. And now all that's left to do is to add uh, my word. So for my word today, I am going to use Create, and this is a die by Penny Black. I have actually used my C6 machine and to die cut uh, my word out of uh, white cardstock but as I am placing it there I don't really like uh, the color so I am going to emboss it using the same embossing powder that I've used for my corners. So I am applying my die cut over my Versamark ink pad and making sure that it's nice and wet and uh, then I am going to apply the embossing powder all over my die cut. Just because my die cut is so delicate and uh, to avoid burning my fingers, as I heat set the powder, I am using my tweezers to help me out. After heat setting uh, the die cut, I end up with a nice and uh, puffy looking uh, word, which uh, really complements uh, the design. So I am just using my glue pen at the back to add uh, dots of glue all over just to make sure that it is going to stick nicely down and my layout is uh, pretty much finished so to assemble my book again I am going to use my crop dial and bring back uh, the holes and uh, now I can uh, assemble my mixed media journal again so I have my first and my second page and I am going to use my rings to bring everything together and as I work through this uh, art journal I am going to make sure to share each and every page with you. By the end hopefully I will have a pretty mixed media journal full of uh, flowers. So that was the project for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close up photos of my project today. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure to do so, since this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. If you want to see the first page of my mixed media journal, click on the image. And if you are watching from a mobile device, then make sure to check uh, the description area where I will add the link to this video. Thank you all for watching.